was good. Now, for the 15,000th time, I told y'all, and y'all want to keep hearing from me and have me say it to you. This is how it's going to go down. Jay Prince told you exactly what he was going to do, how he was going to do it, why he was going to do it. Larry Jr. told you what he was doing it for and he's just a man who wants his father freed for being over incarcerated he's served his time and then some he's being held for no reason he's a political prisoner all that man wants to do is come home. He's a grandfather, about to be a great grandfather. Let that man come home and be with his family. That's what it's about. It's not about money. It's not about notoriety. It's not about fame. And it's exactly what I tried to get whacked to understand. And I said, man, you know, you messing up, bro. You really messing up. And this could have been resolved. He's starting to see the error in your ways, trying to say, it ain't me, it's the lady. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't want nothing from this. Then why are you in the middle? If you don't want nothing from it, why are you in the middle? Why? See, that's your problem. You don't know when to sit down and shut up. Sometimes it's you just got to sit down and shut up. All that wild, crazy talking. That stuff worked on people from Clubhouse. That stuff didn't work on me. And it didn't work on nobody I know. Now, anybody that's been outside, you know, that's a whole different era. You know, I'll let you get your rant off. It still don't change the story. The narratives don't change. The pendulum still is swinging. So it's up to you to make the decision on what it is that you finna do and which direction you going in. Now, everybody knows your past and your history. And Jay Prince ain't playing with you. Not one bit. Listen to him. That's where interference came into play with this dude, uh, Rat, Officer Rat 100. You know what I mean? A lot of interference came into place with Officer Rat 100 because what he done, you know what I mean? And this has to be talked about because we're on a million dollars worth of game. And I oh. got to get a game to the youth because yeah. I don't want them getting caught. And no crosses where this Officer Rat 100 is concerned because he's a live rat. You know what I mean? And here's, here's the truth of what he done. You know, even though he tried to deceive and put, you know, our text messages, you know, in a, in a form where he was talking about apples, he wanted to switch the game up and say we're talking about oranges. Mm -hmm. But you know, I got proof, and I'm going to show y'all the, the real text message that he didn't want people to see. But what this brother, you know what I mean, that called himself real, attempted to do and play, you know, with, with, with the old man. We call him the old man. We call him, I call him my brother, my friend. You know, but most of all, with his freedom, you know, because on two occasions, one, him and his Chad, uh, what's his woman name, Karen Chapman, you know, this is a lady that was entrusted to go in and interview Larry Hooper, with an understanding of bringing this back to the family. We're not clearing the way mm -hmm. to go and do this for no other reason. You know, we don't play like that, but that's what she done. She went in an interview and ran off. You know what I mean? So what this dude has chosen to do is take a stand with a person like this, like when they was putting together the pardon for Larry a few years ago. And I let him tell that story. 
but I'm so I'm feeling so good about it right now until I'm gonna say what I don't cover you you we're gonna do like Ron DMC. So wouldn't give footage for the part. This this is him being free. We just wanted you know what I mean, because when you're trying to humanize right. a person, then you use footage, you use their own words to help right. in situations like this. So it was about the money with her. Yeah, like, well, what am I getting out of this? Yeah, yeah, let me reiterate that part. So when we were trying to put the part together, I said, we was trying to just get information on my father. So we, she had some actual footage of him. Like, asked the attorney, would that be good to have this footage to put on this part? They're like, yeah, that'll be good. Let's see if we can try to do it. We tried some numbers. We caught up with the lady, and I called, and I asked her. I was like, um, we need some of that footage because we're trying to put this part together. And she told me, she said, well, who going to get paid for this? Well, how am I going to get paid for this? And I'm like, wow, this is about my father's freedom right here. And you want to know who's going to get paid for this footage? Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know where she feels like she was um, really caring about our family, but um, she wanted to know who's going to get paid when we were trying to get this package together for this part. And then moving forward after that, that's around the time Kanye hit, went to the White House not too far before the end or after that. She seen that it was a buzz and my father's name was fresh in people's heads. And she thought, man, let me go get some money. And that's when she come from behind a rock somewhere looking like it was an opportunity. Kanye reached out to her to try to get the footage again some years later. And I don't know where it happened that, but somehow Wack wound up in the middle of the mix. And Wack was bargaining, bar, uh, the middleman with the footage. First he was just the middleman for her because she didn't want to speak to us. But then next thing you know, he's a partner in the whole situation. This is his footage, he got it and blah, blah, blah. So oh, yeah, what what this clown, what this clown, you know, head up like we right here. He and let me just state this: Wack knew the situation. He told y'all. He told the world. He didn't want nothing from this. He just wanted to protect the lady. Wanted to make sure she taken care of. Well, that's mighty noble of you. Nobody's threatening the lady. The lady would have never gotten clearance. To interview Larry. They couldn't let that be known. She can't do anything. Okay? She can't do a single thing without their permission. She can't do a single thing without the family's permission. So without the family's permission, she don't get that interview. So why is she thinking she's the one, they gave her the permission to do it, to get the sit down. So the family should have the say, not you. Where do you think you hold all the cards? Because you went and did it. They could have sent their cousin, anybody to do it. They get they gave the permission to get it greenlit. And then you dip off and run off with the film, trying to do a money grab. This is you playing with people's lives. That's a problem. That's that kind of clown activity that people talk about on a constant. They talk about that foolery, Tom foolery. That's what it is. Now, with all of these things going on, Jay Prince is still pissed off because he's hearing videos about how you want to slap him when you see him, knowing you ain't finna do any of these things. Nobody buys into this except for them people in that clubhouse. 
Hey. All y'all do is troll and clout chase and do all these crazy things and talk crazy. But the moral of the story is you rolling around with a rat, a federal informant, and defended him in an, in an interview with me. You're talking in your way of dealing with him and saying, you got a rat on your block right now. No, I don't. I ain't got a rat on my block. And if he did rat, you ain't go get him. Why am I going to get him for? He ain't rat on me. <laughs> if it was a rat on the block, I don't have to deal with him. I'm going to stay away. I ain't going to have nothing to do with him. Sorry, we don't have no outposts in our circle. We don't move like that. I don't, I don't kick it with the rat. Because when that time comes, when they come to ring the bell on the rat, I ain't going to be sitting there right next to them. I'll let y'all do that. With somebody else. You know what I mean? He betrayed the people. Oh, I'm down with y'all. The only reason I want to talk to him, you know, I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt for my brother because it's serious business, right? So I embrace that. I entertain that. And, uh, you know, in retrospect, when I hear him take a different position, like he was partners with her and this and that the whole time, I'm like, oh, so this nigga one of them kind of niggas where all money, good money with him. You know what I mean? Everybody go. I'm from the school where everybody don't go. You Me know too. What I mean? And when you're playing with a man, freedom like that, and everybody go, then, you know, I take that real personal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why, you know, I want all the culture, because I'm a nigga that stands for the culture. You know what I mean? I love the hip hop culture. You know, I, I put in a lot of work where the hip hop culture is concerned. Blaze the trail. You know what I mean? And when I see one, you know, trying to shit on Tupac, trying to shit on Nipsey, trying to shit on, you know, the homie Big U out there, trying to shit on Master P, you know, good nigga, real niggas, you know, Meek Mill, you know, I, I see a nigga get on a, a podcast and with, a, with another rat and go off on 21 Savage. I'm like, oh, this nigga got diarrhea at the mouth. He, he like full of shit, right? He, he the type of nigga that will shit in the bed and blame it on the baby. Oh, you know what I mean? Imagine that. You know, you take a raw shit in the bed and say, that's the baby <laughs> shit. I ain't shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is how he go to trying to change narratives and different shit about the truth. And uh, what be real cold about it is some people get lost along the way. You know what I mean? They get lost along the way and they'll roll off a cliff with, you know what I mean, of, uh, Officer Rat 100. I don't like this shit, man. I'm, I'm going to calm down and let y'all talk, but I hope the people feel me because you know, I ain't the type of nigga. I don't believe in using rap. And like, some niggas call them punks. I, I, I remember calling niggas sissy. So he like a sissy to me. You know what I mean? He's a sissified nigga to me, and I can say a whole lot of other things, but I'm a, I'm a, we own million million dollars worth of game. Right. But, uh, just, just, just for the record, I want all that smoke that one is talking about. You know, I, I know how to put all that out. So, with y'all time. But yeah, one last thing. <laughs> so, you know, you got him bothered with all that talking because we come from a different school. The school is if you bring a snitch, you might as well be a snitch. And you know what people do to snitches. So you brought the snitch. You brought him. And because you brought that snitch. You in concert with him. You defending him. You rolling with him. So if you going to do that. Then ain't no telling what you going to do. You'll sell out your own cousin. Anything for money. Just like a rat. Rather eat anything if you put it in front of them.
Rat take anything. Rat don't care. Rat ain't got no morals. Rat will get you jammed up. And talk real reckless at the mouth. I had to tell him over and over in the doggone interview. Oh, whoa, 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 I ain't speaking on that. That's an open case. What's an open case? You know what's an open case. You ain't going to have me talking about it. That case is open, and there still might be people getting named in that. I ain't finna be talking about that case. See, that's what he did with Young Thug. He talking about Young Thug, this, and man, your Young Thug, man, well, you shouldn't have been doing that, and you shouldn't have been doing that. You talking like the man guilty. You don't know if the man guilty or not. That man trying to fight for his life. And you in here talking as if he's guilty. You warping the minds of possible jurors. Because you're getting a lot of views on the on your on your clubhouse. You poisoning other people to take that and start spreading it around. Oh, he should have did this. Somebody should have took the charge. Why did he do that? He shouldn't have did that. If I was him, I wouldn't have. You don't know what he did. You already assume that he's guilty. You already made that assumption. He's guilty. He's going to jail. He, he should have done this. He should have had his boy doing that. How about you don't talk about his case while he's fighting for his life? How about that? Don't make no insinuations. It's a code of ethics that you need to learn to follow. Because all you do is make things worse. Now, when I spoke to him and I did the interview that you heard, you guys was just a little late to the party. The Jay Prince situation ain't even happened yet. That wasn't even public. So it wasn't even news. So that's why we didn't discuss it in the interview. It wasn't because that I purposely left it out. It's just that that hadn't happened yet. So... Now that y'all know the real, don't forget to subscribe to the page. Follow the banner that you see at the bottom, please. Um, you can super chat, and then at the end of the video, you can super thanks. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all tell me who's right and who's wrong in this situation. I'm going to dip out. Well, this person would say, well, if I can't got nothing to do with it, what did Jay Prince got nothing to do with it? it? Ain't got nothing to do with him. He's got more connection to the family of Mr. Hoover than Wack has with that lady. So the family won't Jay Prince there. That. That's why he's there. So if the family didn't want him there, you see the family was sitting right next door. So he definitely has the family support in anything that he's doing. Now, if he didn't have any support, he wouldn't be sitting there. So that's what Mr. Prince has to do with it. Now, the question is, what does Wack have to do with it? He don't know that lady. All he see is some money. And you know the saying, all money ain't good money. Because what you think is a promise of a dollar, like he said, could cause you to roll off that cliff. And if you want to go rolling off that cliff, then hey, that's on you. So, I'm going to get out of here. I ain't going to hold you. Don't forget to like this video again. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Yeah, and F you, academic.